Our small town has put on a bicycle road race every year for the past five years. This coming year, our road race is going off-road. A mountain bike ride and a gravel grinder. The gravel grinder is going to land us near the Butterfield Overland Trail. Enjoy my story about the Butterfield Overland Stagecoach Mail Route. Butterfield Overland Mail Route was named after John W. Butterfield because he owned and operated this mail route. John Butterfield began working with stagecoaches at the early age of 10. He began driving stagecoaches at 19, then owned his own stagecoach company by the time he was 30. Unfortunately, he borrowed a little too much money and couldn't pay back the investors in time. So his stagecoaches and business were taken from a couple of gentlemen, Wells and Fargo. Though his first company didn't fare well, Butterfield was determined to be successful. He realized the potential to deliver mail over land versus overseas. Mail from the East Coast or Midwest would reach its Western destination five months after being sent. It would ship out through the Gulf of Mexico, then travel by freight to the Pacific, then ship out to Northern California to be dispersed. Congress asked the Postmaster General of the time, Aaron Brown, to find a way to help the mail process be more efficient. There were multiple bids, but Butterfield won because his idea was different than the rest. He proposed his route as you see on this map. His idea was relay stations, horses, and several riders. In all, he had 100 coaches, 160 relay stations at 20 miles apart, spreading between St. Louis, Missouri to San Francisco, California. This means they passed through New Mexico and what we now know as Arizona. And you guessed it, some of the trail is near our bike event. Butterfield Overland Stagecoaches would carry mail, but they would also carry passengers. At $200 for a one-way ticket, you could get from any destination on the route to San Francisco, California in mere weeks or days. Stamps and tickets were purchased to ride across the country overland. Butterfield Overland Stagecoach mail route would exist for two and a half years before the Pony Express would take it over as the fastest, safest mail route in the U.S. Safe because the Apache weren't as close with the route set for the Pony Express. Like gently aged fossils, we have ruins and old trail road prints to remind us of times past. I encourage you to visit.